Hey guys, and welcome back to Deku Tarot and to your weekly tarot and astrology for April 20th through the 26th of 2020. So um, before we get into the tarot, we're going to go over the astrology. And I just want to say thank you for all of your support. Thank you for all um, of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you haven't, do make sure to subscribe. Do make sure to check out your monthlies as well as your weeklies for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And um, if you do want to book a private reading, all my information is below in my description box where it always is. And um, I am taking 20% off of all of my readings at this time due to the coronavirus. So check that out, guys. And um, also, I have some information down there on how to get a good chunk of change off of Truly Divine's astrology and numerology analysis reports, which I will mention at, again at the end, okay? So um, let's get into this week here. Um, it is the first week of Sun in Taurus. Yay! Happy birthday to all of my Tauruses. It's my birthday week, so I'm pretty excited. I put on my big hoops for this reading. <laughs> so let's talk about this here. Um, we also have the new moon in Taurus this week. That's going to be pretty big. I might even do a separate video on it. And um, we're starting off the week here with Monday 420, which I will be putting a really special and interesting video out that is quite divergent from my normal content. So check that out guys so um monday is 4 20 and um, we are starting the week off with the moon in aries here um it's going to be a lot more energy um our energy is going to be a lot more you know jacked up we're going to want be wanting to do a lot of things we're going to be feeling a lot more confident we also have the sun again entering taurus um depending on what you think i guess because it's a leap year some people have told me so thank you again in the comments for those of you who answered my question on that because so I was like, it always starts on 420. Why is it on 419 this year? And there was differing things on the internet and in books. So I was a little bit confused as to what was going on with the start of Taurus season. But apparently it's starting on the 20, sorry, on the 19th because of the leap year. So um, there we go. <laughs> Again, thanks for the answers on that. I don't know everything. Um, with the sun entering Taurus on 419, 420, whatever. Um, we have this productive, practical, pragmatic, um, grounded, earthy, health conscious energy that we're going to be, you know, more enjoying cleaning, making our homes brighter, more comfortable, um, looking also for new ways in terms of how to relax and enjoy things more, how to enjoy work more, how to enjoy our playtime and relaxation time more and really get the most out of it, how to slow down while still being productive. Okay, um, so we also have the moon in Aries sextiling Saturn in Aquarius that day, bringing up this sense of responsibility responsibility, um, which makes us also, again, really highly assertive in terms of pursuing our goals with deliberation. On Tuesday, the 21st, 21st what am I saying the 21st <laughs> it's my birthday I got a little excited there um that's my birthday so happy birthday to me on the um 21st I'm turning 26 <laughs> over the 25th you know first quarter of life hump so it's going to be a little weird for me um we have the sun in Taurus squaring Saturn in Aquarius so there's going to be this sense of overconfidence masking our uncertainty and limitations and obstacles might crop up we have another couple of interesting sextiles moon and Aries sextiling Venus and Gemini Moon and Aries, Moon and Aries sextiling Mars and Aquarius, and um, the Moon and Aries conjunct Mercury and Aries, which is interesting because they're both in Aries. So mentally, we're going to be really active there, um, and in terms of judgment, we're going to have really good judgment, and it might be some pretty decent energy for starting or working practically on business matters there. Wednesday the 22nd, we have the new Moon in Taurus, and that's going to bring up some big energies. Let me just get my notes on that, actually. I have quite a few, but I don't want to overburden you with it because I'm going to do a separate video. But it is pretty interesting because it is the fixed earth Taurus. Um, this is the first new moon in a fixed earth um, or a fixed sign here of the new astrological year. So it's got this really empress type energy as you know I associate with Taurus if you watch my tarot videos a lot. And it's going to really have you looking at, you know... Um, any paradigms that we've really needed to liberate ourselves from. So anything, you know, in terms of our belief that we're liberating ourselves and tying this belief into buying things, ideas, you know, living that certain life, having that apartment, living there. Uh, if I buy this makeup, I'm gonna be super beautiful. Things like that, that influencers, social media says that we must consume. This full moon, this full moon here, um, I'm sorry, new moon, why am I, what did I write full moon? New moon will really ask you, is that really true here? And does that really really fulfill you? Does that make you truly whole and liberated? So consumption does not equal liberation. 
liberation and that's going to be a huge wake up call for a lot of people and I know I've been feeling it so I've even kind of you know stepped even though like you know I, I don't know if I'm an influencer or what I don't consider myself that but I've kind of stepped back from social media in some bigger ways just because I think it's a lot of it is so fake and it's so you can get i don't know just i'll talk about that more in the new moon and taurus video so stick around for that um or keep an eye out on that because that's a big conversation i definitely want to have with you guys as well you know what we feel obligated to do and be in terms of social media because we're chasing again this wholeness that this new moon and taurus is really going to have us look at and say does that really make you feel whole no um, there's also going to be this Saturn, um, square with Aquarius, Saturn and Aquarius square. So that's going to be interesting. And, um, again, we'll talk more about the Taurus new moon because it'll be a really good time for a lot of, you know, again, new beginnings, looking at practicality in terms of work here. Um, and especially because Uranus is in Taurus and it's making some interesting, um, aspects there as well. And having some conversations with Uranus and Taurus and the moon in Taurus, um, it's going to, again, have us really being able to break some negative patterns and help us direct and focus where, um, towards things that we really want to happen and um, have us looking again at what is our true nature and being a lot more true in terms of that. And that'll help us, again, pick what we want to manifest, pick where we're going. So I know that's a lot to digest in terms of astrology, so I won't burden you for the rest of the week here. Um, on the 25th, we have Pluto retrograding so that's gonna be pretty big there's gonna be a lot of intense and complex energy hanging really heavy around this time um and we're not going to be as open and direct about our desire for control during this pluto retrograde okay and that lasts all the way until october 4th so let's just leave this all here because that's a lot of astrology and you can definitely check out white light astrology i really love his little weekly overviews so check those out as well if you want to look more and learn more about the astrology that's happening right now and how it's really playing out in the world around us um in, on a global scale it's pretty interesting and i really like the way that he does that so check him out um anyways guys let's get into your weekly tarot reading Alrighty, leos so april 20th to 26th for leo sun moon rising in venus we're looking with the aquarian tarot what your general theme is this week and as a fixed sign this is going to be a very powerful week with you um for you with the new moon in taurus a new moon and another fixed sign always brings forward some really big energies for all the fixed signs that was coming out <laughs> I like that okay one last card here. All right. I, again, I love that your advice and guidance here, even though it's the last card out, let's start with this, is the King of Pentacles. That's some Taurus energy, if you couldn't tell right there. Um, so that's going to have you really, again, focusing on staying grounded, and staying earthy. And if you didn't check out or listen to the astrology half um, of this weekly, go back to the beginning and check it out because this is the first week of Sun in Taurus. And it is fellow fixed sign, but it also really grounds you, takes that energy that you have as fixed fire and puts it to work, makes it, you know, makes you really able to create something real, physical, material with it, not just ideas, not just throwing energy at it. This is growing energy. So, stay grounded stay stay calm if you can in some of this you know this is a really great week for a lot of things there's a couple of little iffy parts here but um temperance again is your overall theme for the week so there's this is a um this 
Ugh, not English. This continues that theme of staying grounded, of bringing things back into balance, of really focusing on that, on what we need to um, really work on physically, maybe even in our life here. What do we need to heal? What have we been through before that's coming up now and asks us to shift how we react to it, how we act? And again, maybe even how you heal yourself, how you treat yourself, how to shift you know, any toxic or negative paradigms at this time is going to be, it's going to be a lot easier with this new moon and Taurus energy kind of flooding throughout the week and the astrology this week. It's the time for cutting out the negative and really hyper focusing and healing the areas, working on the areas that need to be worked on for a better and more prosperous, more abundant future. So temperance again is this real sense of maturing, of bringing things into balance, of um, adapting here to whatever this, um, also you know whatever your individualized existence is what your truth is it's adapting more on based on how that's changed and how you have changed uh five of rods is the emotional for this week so we might be dealing with some difficulties or you know um just small fish kind of things we might be feeling a little offended or hurt by the way maybe some people are coming across treating us we might feel people are maybe nitpicking at us or you know aren't giving us you know what we're asking for um, or, you know, if we need support, etc., people might be saying, well, you know, you kind of did this to yourself or uh, maybe you need to work on it in this way. And I've been telling you this for a while, that kind of stuff. So you might be feeling a little bit attacked in those ways, but you have to remember it's small fish, small frustrations, five of wands. Yeah, it can indicate some little fights or power struggles here um, in terms of relationships, um, disharmony in friend groups, possibly even as well. And you may be feeling disharmonious and at odds with people that you're friends with or that you're normally very close with. Career is pretty good. We get five of pentacles reversed, and that's really nice in terms of money. Um, if you felt really locked out on the job front, if you felt like you haven't been able to really make headway with um, saving money, with not having to ask for help, um, if you've been out of a job, it does see you coming out of it in some way. Here, you could be getting some extra money. Um, you know, we could be getting help from somebody, or a career situation might be shifting in terms of us getting a job, in terms of us finding a way forward, or finding a way to sustain ourselves nourish ourselves um by either asking for help or seeking it out here so it has you coming out of a really desolate lonely kind of um working for scraps kind of time there um nine of cups here is your relationships and love for this week romance love relationships which um nine of cups is often a card of emotional harmony happiness you know feeling like your wishes have come true so for those of you in relationships or meeting new people we could be feeling really emotionally connected feeling like this is our dream person but we could also be having this real sense of confidence this week there's um a lot of um there's a lot of astrology that really you know uh backs that this week and again i recommend checking that out or checking out the first half um, of the video in terms of the astrology if you want to know more um and if you even want to know deeper go check out white light astrology i really love his weeklies um on it i think that they're very comprehensive and easy to understand as well but there's a lot of positive astrology for confidence this week, for feeling really emotionally confident in yourself. And I love seeing Nine of Cups in an emotional position like romance and love and all that stuff, you know? Nine of Cups is feeling really emotionally satisfied, whether you're in a relationship or not, loving yourself. It's feeling filled with self-love and gratitude, feeling proud of yourself for having grown. Maybe you've grown a lot emotionally. Maybe you've cut out of a lot of toxic relationships and we don't, you know, have a toxic relationship with love anymore because we're starting to really put a lot of that energy into healing ourselves healing um, our hearts and loving ourselves more so this is a really beautiful energy for you guys this week you've been on this path of self-love that has just been incredible and again that um king of pentacles there let me see why can't i grab you um he's very mature very successful and accomplished here and very secure in his ability to make judgments to make things happen so just know that you're very secure in these areas again and this is what your guidance your advice is for the week too so feel secure get grounded and um, don't just make decisions like health or skeletal or anything you know sit with it feel it do things in a different way in a better way you know pause and think is there a better way i can adapt to this situation is there a better way to go about this to look at this to heal from this to work on this it's getting really still um, it's not moving forward too fast this week okay this is a really nice flow of energy this week so Leo's I hope you enjoyed that we let a, um, leave me a comment
check out your monthlies, check out your weeklies. Make sure to subscribe, guys. If you want to book a reading, again, all that info is in the description box below. And I am taking 20% off of all of my readings right now um, just to try to help people out and offer readings when maybe we can't pay as much. Do check out Truly Divine and their amazing astrology, compatibility, numerology analysis. They are incredible. And you can use my code DQ30 as many times as you want. You can send it to people. Um, you know, again, they can use it multiple times. It's not just a one time only code but again use dq30 at truly divine to get 30 percent off of all of your astrology compatibility and numerology analysis they are the most incredible uh, analysis service in those areas that i've ever had even you know getting readings and you know chart analysis through people and numerology analysis through people like they're just amazing so do check them out i am just still so impressed by them so um do make sure to subscribe guys make sure to share if you enjoyed it and have a wonderful and blessed week ahead namaste and happy birthday um to everybody who is celebrating this week stay happy stay healthy and safe my friends namaste